Self-filming, late rut, this is right before the gun season, but a completely different strategy. First off, I'm hunting food and I'm going in only in the middle of the day. The mornings, the ground is wet and it's frozen and it's insanely loud and I'm just bumping more deer trying to get in for the morning hunts than what it's worth because the evening feed is the majority of the movement. So I'm coming in here 11, 12 o'clock in the morning when everything's not out in the open and I'm getting on a food source. These are blinds that we built this year through an exercise, a brand new field. But what's unbelievable about these next couple hunts for me is these are critical hunts because a family member of mine waited five years, drew a tag, came in. I hunted with him during the rut. We rattled in an awesome buck and he made what we thought was an awesome shot. Quartering away, it looked a little bit high and just like what every bow hunter is eventually going to have to live through we thought we lost this buck we could not find blood we looked and looked and grid searched he went back home he's been sick about it and then here we are only a few days before gun season and i just got a picture of this buck with the injury clearly visible i am going to focus on this deer it's a deer that i don't think is going to make through the through the winter with this injury so this is gonna be critical going in E-powered as quiet as I can with my backpack, middle of the day. It's the name of the game. Let's see what happens. Let's go on. We're gonna go shoot a buck. You can see how quiet I can go in right now. So this is me going in, this is what it sounds like, just playing the wind, using the hunt cast on the app. So I'll let you see the rest of my way in. Hopefully tonight's the night. Got that picture, I am feeling it. Perfect wind, post rut, 100% on my app. Let's see if it's the night, it's gonna be cool. Just film the buck through this window. He's out in the CRP, he's feeding along, but he's right behind a doe. They dove into the cedars. I can hear a bunch of chasing, crashing. Might have heard a fight, but we've got four hours left before dark, so the evening feed still is gonna happen. It's getting hot, it's warming up, but we've got the good south wind coming in the window perfect. Getting ready to strip a layer down and be ready because He's here. Tonight could be the night. That's him, that's him, that's him. season I've actually been hunting this buck I've been hunting this one buck he's injured and I just did not think he was gonna make it came out here late season sure enough he shows up and just an absolutely smoker bomb of a shot it was longer than I would normally ever take but that shot right there was the finishing cake that was freaking smoke yes 
went in right here. Went in right here underneath my stand. There he is. Holy crap. There he is. Oh, got a stand right there. I saw my arrow. Saw my arrow right there. Look at that big old rub right there too. Look at this buck. What an awesome evening. Beautiful sunset. Freaking stud, stud, stud of a 10. Just as clean as a 10 you could get. And like I said, you'll see, I'm sure you saw in the footage, there's a shoulder hit on this deer. One of my family members drew a tag after five or six years came out here rattled this buck right in came to 10 yards and he was quartering to turn to leave turn to walk away and when he turned to walk away he had a quarter and away shot and that arrow that you saw was a quarter and away shot and we think it definitely got one lung went up into the neck we followed blood for a couple days and this just goes this is proof how tough these suckers are. And I told him, I said, man, I'm gonna make it my personal mission to try to find that deer. And that's what I've been on. I have been on a post rut mission to find my buddy's biggest buck. And trust me, I'm gonna tag this deer, but this deer is going to him. What an awesome, awesome buck he would not have made it through the winter and that would have been a total shame i am so thankful that i got a shot it was a long long shot but as you could see he was limping injured trying to just get some fuel to make it through the winter which i don't think he would have done and holy smokes yes <laughs>